lads, lassies. In this video, I will show how you can make profit from Operation Riptide. First of all, for some of you, it might be the first operation ever, and you might be asking whether you should buy an Operation Pass, which costs 12 euros 75 cents. Well, if you are going to play CSGO and want to make some money, then absolutely yes. So, one way to profit from Operation Riptide is to complete all the missions and then you will get 100 stars. Now you might ask, but where do I spend all these stars? Well, the safest way which guarantees you profit would be to spend them all on cases. One case costs 2 stars, so with 100 stars you can get 50 cases. New Riptide cases are not listed on the market, but one week after the update was released, they will be. Since one star is worth around 39 cents and the case costs two stars, then on the market they should be listed for around 77 cents. This means that you will have to sell around 19 cases to make your money back from what you have spent on the pass. 19 cases will cost you 38 stars and you will have 62 stars left to spend on anything else. So the safest way would be to spend them all on cases and that would make you around 20 euros profit very nice. The other option would be spending half the stars on cases and half of them on collection skins. This way you would make a little profit from cases and you would have a chance to maybe get a very expensive skin from collection. Where purples go for around 20 to 30 euros, pinks from 100 to 300 euros and reds could even go for over 2000 euros. Of course, you could also spend all of those 100 stars on collection skins if you don't care whether you will make a profit or not. But that's just a lottery because there is 96% chance that you will get a grey or light blue and then 1 in almost 4000 that you will get a red. Just check which collection skins are the most expensive before you use stars on them. So after you completed all your missions and got 100 stars, made some profit, what's then? Well, you can repeat the same thing on another account. Buy the pass, complete missions, redeem your rewards and sell them for profit. You can do that as many times as you like, but there are a few downsides. You have to have a prime on that account which costs around 13 euros so if you have to buy a Prime, that will cut down on your profits. Although, if you already have an alt account with Prime, then that doesn't apply to you. Also, you will be spending a lot of time completing those missions. If I remember correctly, on Operation Broken Fang, it took 9 to 12 hours to complete all the missions when you were speedrunning. So you have to think whether it is worth it to you to grind 9 to 12 hours for 20 euros profit. Option number 2 is investing. All the rewards that you can get from Operation Riptide will most likely be exclusive only for this operation. And after it is over, you will not be able to get them. So what you should invest in? Well, if we take Operation Shattered Web and Operation Broken Fang as an examples, we can see a few trends. First, all the agent skins either went down in price or stagnated. Thus, I would stay away from investing in agents. Second, stickers didn't perform very well in the past, as we can see gold web foil is down a lot and battle scarred holo didn't go up as well. Maybe in a few years their supply will get smaller and then we could see their price going up, but at the moment personally I would stay away from them, especially if you don't have much money to invest. Third. Patches performed very much like the stickers, so my opinion on them is the same. Cases would be an amazing investment, especially because they have unique knives and their supply is cut off after operation. But there are a few downsides. One is that a lot of people invest in them. There are many accounts that hold hundreds or even thousands of operation cases. So when the operation is over, there is a huge supply for them. Another downside is that Valve tends to do one thing after the operation is over. And that thing is a new case release. In that new case, they put the same rare special items as in the operation case. We can see how the fracture case release affected the shadow web case price and how the snakebite case release affected the broken fang case price. So I wouldn't be too upset optimistic about the Riptide case being something different. It seems that it is very likely that the next case will have the same knives. In my opinion, the best option if you want to make profit is collection skins. From previous operation examples, we can see that the skins from collections went up in price quite a bit after the operation was over. These skins are being used up in trade-up contracts so their supply only goes down. Consumer grade and industrial grade skins had the biggest increase percentage wise. These skins are cheap, you can buy many of them and the increase is bigger than for the grades above. 
If you decide to invest in these skins, you should use buy orders and try to get them for as cheap as possible. If you chose to invest in something, be patient, don't panic sell and keep in mind that it can take a year or two to make some profit. So just huddle. The last option to make profit from this operation is doing trade up contracts. Just keep in mind that there are some risks involved and you might not always get the best outcome. However, if you know how the trade-up contracts work, then sometimes you can find profitable trade-ups where you can get a guaranteed profit. Also, it might take a long time to collect all the skins with the right floats for the trade-up. On top of that, there are other people who are looking for the same skins with the same floats, and they could be faster than you buying them. So trade-up contracts might be long, boring, and frustrating experience. However, if you hit the best outcome, it will be worth it. I would recommend using sites like TradeUpSpy to organize and calculate your trade-ups. You just put all the floats and skins that you are using and the site will show you the outcomes. It will help you to avoid mistakes with wrong floats and show whether the trade-up is profitable or not. If you want to try it out, I will put a link in the description. So I found this profitable trade-up from Operation Riptide collection and in this trade-up I will be using 5 minimal wear and 5 factory new stat track blues. If you would like to try this trade-up just keep in mind that you need specific floats to get your desired outcomes in factory new condition. The best skin I could get is factory new stat track M4A4 Spider Lily. If I get FAMAS I would make a small profit so let's go. Alright let's do the trade-up. I have 40% chance for profit. 20% chance for M4 and I hope I will hit that M4, come on. In 3, in 2, in 1, I'm ready, let's go. Nice! <laughs> let's go, M4. And that's the best outcome I could get. Very nice. So these were all the ways that you can make profit from Operation Riptide. I will definitely make some update videos about investments and profitable trade-ups, so hit subscribe if you don't want to miss them. Let me know in the comments if you are going to try any of these methods or maybe you already did and made some nice profit. I will see you in the next one. Peace!